Hey everybody, Joe Carlisle here. Just got done shooting with uh, Jeff, weighing in at 215, uh, roughly. Obviously, every day is a little different. And height being at 5'4. Um, sitting here, middle of 2020, um, about getting close to a year since my last show, uh, September 2019, where I won the Fort or the Hoosier Flex in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Won the light heavyweight division as well as the overall. And that was two weeks after winning the light heavyweight division for Mr. Indiana competition and then having a close call on the overalls um, for the overall for Mr. Indiana. So obviously it was everything was very sudden this year. Um, everybody had to make adjustments last second. Um, nobody wanted to do the body weight and resistant band workouts, even if some of us had to. Um, I luckily was fortunate enough. I have a full garage at my house that I was able to convert into a home gym. Um, was able to do majority of my leg days, shoulder, arm days. Um, my chest was very limited and was able to pull in a full back day. So I wasn't um, too far a setback as far as my training has gone, but obviously some limitations as far as pushing my body to the limit weren't there. So, but I, I was able to hold size. So I'm actually very happy with what I was able to do in, in that time period. All right, so I got I got started a little bit before uh, we jumped into things. I started out with um, actually some lat pull downs, which are not on the video, and then I moved into flat bench press. And what my style is right now, um, I'm trying to combine strength training of as heavy as I can go with focusing on the contraction and slow movements. So my training style is, and today you didn't see all of it, but five sets. The first two sets are gonna be as heavy as I can go and get anywhere between five to 10 reps. And then the other three sets are focusing on anywhere between eight to 12 reps, but very so slow, lighter weight, controlled movements where I'm just focusing on contracting the muscle with no momentum so did that with the flat bench press and then i moved into the pull down machine where i was using a close grip on the pull down um, moved from there to some high cable flies and kind of was finicking with the weight i was feeling a little bit stronger today so the weight was a little bit different for me as far as the contraction goes and moved from there into a pull down motion on the cables with a bar and as you'll see I uh, do finally show a little reveal of my physique after uh, about getting like I said getting close to a year of working on things so we'll see a little bit there and moved from there into an incline press and incline press if you don't know if you haven't been seeing my social media I had a chest injury at the beginning of the year this year so that set me back pretty significantly that was just pre-COVID so that was January 10th that that happened and went through that and then getting into COVID so incline press even though that's not what injured my chest has been a big scare for me um, as I worked that motion um, so getting that back into my routine and making that a strong point again has been huge so today you're able to see I was fully able to do that no issues went from there over to the single arm row um, machine and there I, I was getting kind of tired um, on that so I didn't do a strength side of that just focus on contraction to finish up my workout um, for that so like I said feeling pretty strong right now uh, as you'll see I'm, I'm on the lean side being 215 this is the leanest I've ever been at 215 I'm not trying to pack on massive amount of weight. I'm just trying to get um, about a pound a week of weight, and that's not even going to yield anywhere near a pound of muscle a week. So taking things slow, being cautious, trying to keep my waist small as well through this time. I mean, at first I had my phone with my donuts and my candy and my ice cream, and my cake and everything I could want and I could shove in my mouth, I was eating. Um, but cleaned it up after I got through that fun period, which was about a month after prep um, or a month after the show. And, you know, I've struggled in, in years past. I've, I've really struggled with staying on point. And I've, I've got friends um, 
all throughout the industry that just said, Joe, if you if you just focus on that diet, if you just focus on staying clean in the off season, you can do some really good things, you know. So I really listened to Jeff Long. Um, I've listened to my friends in the industry and really took that to heart this year. So I kept my diet as clean as I could. Obviously, I would have, you know, a meal here that was a cheat and can't not have donuts come on so i had my donuts but overall every you know seven days a week i was trying to get majority of my meals in clean um which is surrounded with chicken and rice a lot of eggs i've eaten a lot of whole eggs this year um once again there it's a leaner it's a leaner protein source and there's a lot of good nutrients in eggs and fats in whole eggs too so been having a lot of that um keeping green beans um Keeping broccoli, I've been actually focusing more on having greens in my diet. That's been probably the number one thing for me. I'm like a six-year-old, all right? I, I hate my greens. I hate eating them. My mom always had to force me. I feel like I need my mom there to keep forcing me to eat my greens. So I um, heard that voice in my head um, throughout this year. So doing my greens with a greens drink every day has helped in a lot of aspects, especially with digestion. Um, I'm digesting food. I'm getting hungry a lot faster, too and um, less red meat. Um, I, I don't know what it is with my body and red meat, but if I get too much, I start getting more a little bit lethargic, um, and my digestion does, get a little, digestion does get a little more screwy, um, and I get a little more of an upset stomach. So going only to having about two red meat meals a day, um, not a day, a week, and that's helped me out a lot in this off season. No, just going right back to chicken or having having the whole eggs. Um, I I really have taken fish out of my off season this year. Um, I really want to keep fish as a great nutrient to have during season. Um, it's a there's so many vital nutrients in there, and it's a great thing to throw in instead of eating chicken during prep. So I, I like to keep my nutrients different um, through off season and, and during season. So I, I kind of got away from that. Um, I love mahi mahi, and I'll still have it at times mahi mahi or salmon, but nothing as a consistency. My, I, I have. Um, I've done a little bit. I stick to the stair stepper if I do, but I'm my cardio is doing things outside of the gym. It's working around the house. It's mowing the yard. It's helping out my friends with something in their yard. Um, going over to my family's house and helping them out with something. So that provides a little bit of cardio within my life. Um, before I was just old school bodybuilder. Don't make me do anything. Don't make me move anything. I'm not gonna walk. Um, I have two dogs, so I take them on walks. That's a little bit of cardio for me for me as well. And all of that, you know, combined has, has helped me as well in this off season. I'd like to say I'm in limbo, um, but in reality, I am looking at USA's in December. Um, if you would have asked me about a month ago, amid amongst all the COVID um, crisis in the middle of everything, I would have said I'm not competing this year. Um, I saw the USA switched. They're going to be in LA um, in the middle of December. So that's what I'm kind of focusing on. And I don't want to say I'm doing it right now, but what I'm looking at is just continuing every day to improve, making sure that I'm getting my workouts in, making sure I'm on point with my diet um, as much as possible, and working with Jeff Long continually. Um, he's not, we're not directly um, day to day working together, but I always come to him for advice and let him know the things that I'm doing. And when it comes down to time to start prepping, you know, August, September uh, timeframe, when we start really looking at things, it's going to be really up to Jeff in the long run is to say, you look good, let's do this. And the difference for this year versus my every other year of competing, this is entirely different where I'm not a water buffalo. I'm not a big guy this year. I've kept it lean. So when we jump into prep, it's going to be, let's keep growing. Let's increase the food. Let's increase the activity and let's grow in. Let's not just focus on losing 30 and 40 pounds of weight. Um, so uh, I, I wish I'm going to compete this year. I really wish I am, but everything's going to be up in the air and obviously working with Jeff. And the COVID stuff could come back. So if it does, obviously not going to happen. And I have no issue with that. 2021 is going to be as just good a year, even better than 2020, hopefully. So it'll be an even better year to compete in 2021. 
Yeah, and this is everybody says it. This is a longevity sport. This is not a sprint. And I've been in this for the long haul. Um, I've been doing this since I was 20 years old, and I've been lifting since even before that. But competing since I was 20, and I've never been in here to be on the Olympia stage in two years. Um, this is more about health for me. This is more about me feeling good um, and being happy with myself in the long run. Um, I really, you know. I really want to thank um, Jeff uh, Long. He's he's really been great. Um, he, he's taken on more of a role model role for me. Um, even though, like I said, we don't work directly. Um, he his mentality, the things that he's done with his life, I really I really want to model myself after. It's things that I idolize. And the fact that he was a bodybuilder, he was a phenomenal bodybuilder. He might not have won Mr. Olympia, but he was phenomenal, and he has a lot of knowledge. But he's got a family. He's got beautiful kids. He has a, a loving wife. Um, he builds a beautiful house. And he has his great supplement company. And he's a businessman. And he's a family man first now. And he's taken that recognition. So, Jeff, you know, uh, since working with you, uh, you kick my ass, man. You really do. But I appreciate every bit of you. Um, and you, Jeff, um, honestly, our, our friendship has meant, has meant the world to me. Um, since connecting with you, I've learned a lot. Um, and talking with you has been been great as well, um, and always my family. My family's always been there for me, and everybody that I run into. I mean, there's so many great people that support me, and I can't list everybody always, but everybody that supports me, it's always got my back. We might not talk daily, but you guys do a lot for me. Um, and then lastly, um, two new people that I've met or really connected with in the last year is uh, my friends Sean and V, uh, Veronica. Um, they. They've taken on a, a very close relationship where we're busy in our lives, but we always connect and stay close to each other. So Sean and V have been great. So thank you guys as well. And thank you, everybody, for everything you do. Perfect. Always want to work together. Thanks, Jeff.